guys welcome and welcome back to angela's hauls and lifestyle i hope that you guys are having a wonderful day if you haven't already please go ahead and hit that subscribe button i will greatly appreciate that all right guys so today is saturday which means it is hashtag sip snack and show saturday so if you're new here hashtag sip snack and show saturday is an open collaboration that i started here on youtube so what i do i come on and i show you guys a haul or whatever it is that i may have to show sometimes i show you some new crafts that i created and i also bring something to sip on and as well as something to snack on and i share it with you guys and i let you know how i feel about it just in case you see it at your local stores and you may want to give it a try um again this is an open collaboration which means anyone is welcome to join if you have a youtube channel you are more than welcome to join in all the fun on hashtag sip snack and show saturday um if you choose to join in on the collab just be sure to use the hashtag sip snack and show saturday all lowercase letters and be sure to tag me in your video so that i can come over and see what you are sipping on what you are snacking on and what you are showing on sip snack and show saturday today's hashtag sip snack and show saturday i have a dollar tree haul i also have three christmas crafts that i worked on they're probably going to be the last of my christmas crafts and then i'm going to take a little break until after new year's and then i probably start working on some of my valentine's project but before we jump into the haul and me showing you the crafts i am going to share with you what i am sipping on which is just a hot cup of coffee that hubby fix for me to sip on while I'm out here showing you guys this hashtag sip snack and show Saturday. So I'm having it from my coffee mug that I purchased from the Dollar Tree and it reads, I am only a morning person on December 25th. <laughs> so I thought that was super cute to drink my coffee out of. And the coffee that I am having is by Harry and David. It's one of the coffee pods, the newer ones that the Dollar Tree has in this one is the Northwest blend, and it's really, really good. I absolutely love that blend. So I love the Northwest, and I love the Breakfast blend as well. But this one right here is my favorite. It's really good. It has a lot of flavor to it. So, yeah. Mm. I got it good and hot, but it's really good. And... Okay, so I'll share with you what I'll be snacking on when I get to the Dollar Tree haul because it's a new item that I found at the Dollar Tree. Okay, so from the Dollar Tree, I only purchased a few food items and one of them I am going to snack on to let you know how I feel about it. So this is new in the Dollar Tree. It's the Big and Bold Kettle Corn Mix Duets, hot cocoa flavor plus marshmallow flavor, a blend of two gourmet kettle corns, no artificial flavors. Um, net weight is three ounces. And the best buy date is August 1st, 2024. So it's a, a harmonious blend of two gourmet kettle corns in every bag. Okay, and you can find this brand on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Well, it's not. Is it Twitter or X? Whatever. <laughs> but yeah, these are gluten-free, non-GMO, kosher, or certified kosher. It's made in the USA. So I'm going to um, try this here. And let me show you the nutrition facts. I'm not going <clears> to <throat> read it off today, but I can put it here. I don't know, hopefully you can see that and maybe you can screenshot it or whatnot, zoom in. So let's give this a little taste test. I may need my scissors. And I love the packaging. This looks like Christmas time. And let's see. Oh, it smells really good. Okay, so you get two blends. I'm going to try and get one of each. 
Okay, so here's one. So I assume this is the marshmallow flavor. Mmm. That's some good popcorn. Oh, that's good. Okay, this one has like a little sprinkle on it. So this may be, yeah, this this probably the hot cocoa flavor. Mmm. It's really good, y'all. It's not overly sweet, which I really like that. It's um has a very light and airy taste. I love that. Yeah, this is really good. Mm-hmm. So I ate them together that time. Mm. Nice little combination. Oh, that's really good. Mm. Yeah, this is good, y'all. So if you see this in your local Dollar Tree, pick it up. I should have picked up two bags of this. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's really good. That's really good. I like that. This will be good, you know, to have, you know, with a cup of coffee or a cup of hot chocolate. Wrap up in a warm blanket and watch Christmas movies. Oh, that's probably what I'm going to do tonight. <laughs> yes. Now, what I was supposed to have brought back to do this um, Sip Snack and Show Saturday was this Tasty Cake Crimpet Sponge Cakes with Butterscotch Icing. Y'all, I tried to hold it until today to share with you on this um, Sip Snack and Show Saturday, but I couldn't resist, y'all. This right here, this is so, so delicious. This is my first time having this. This sponge, this crimpet sponge cakes with butterscotch icing. Y'all, this was so, so delicious. If you see it in your local Dollar Tree or wherever, pick it up if you haven't had it. This was my first time having it and it was so, so good. Oh my goodness, this was delicious. And another thing, um, I shared this on hashtag Friday Hauls. This was really delicious as well. It's new in the Dollar Tree. This Kit Kat chocolate frosted donut. Oh my goodness, y'all. <laughs> I After I recorded my hashtag Friday hauls, I ate the rest of this. I mean, I couldn't stop eating it. I, I went ahead and ate the whole thing. I was just on a sugar rush, you know, these past couple of days. But, you know, Certain time of the month, a girl got to do what she got to do to fix that. Okay, next I picked up this Cinnamon Toast Crunch Stuffed Puffs Filled Marshmallows. You get 1.4 ounces. I don't know. It looked new to me. Yeah, it looked new to me. It's cereal coated marshmallows filled with cinnamon flavored cream and crumbles. And let's see what the best buy, if I can find it. The writing is so small. Uh, okay, yeah, it's very small. So, the best before February 28th, 2024. So, yeah, it looked new to me. I don't know. I may try it or I may, um, let, um, give it to the boys and let them try it. Yeah. So, that was, it was new to me. And then I picked up just some canned green, cut green beans by Del Monte. Um, uh, four point, I mean, 14.5 ounces and the best by date. It's November 28th, 2024, and that's on both. Just some cut green beans. And then this was new to me. This Ruby Kiss Jelly Cranberry Sauce, 14 ounces. Um, let's see, Best Buy is November 4th, 2025. This was new to me in the Dollar Tree. So I was like, this will be good, you know, to keep on hand in the pantry. You know, just never know. We got Christmas coming up. So we'll probably need this to go with our um, dressing, you know, if we have um, turkey dressing or whatnot. So yeah, I picked one of those up. Okay, the last of my food items. This item here was a very, very new to me. I was super excited when I saw it. Um, this pink sauce. So guys, I had to do my research. You know, this right here, it has been trending. This sauce went viral. I mean, it has been trending on, it's say as seen on TikTok and Instagram. It's also trending on YouTube. And y'all, I had to do my research because I had no idea that this pink sauce, there was 
so much controversy behind this pink sauce. So when the creator, I think her name is Chef Peas, I think Chef Pies, I'm not sure, but she is the creator of this pink sauce. And it was just so much controversy. I think, I know, I guess at the beginning, you know, of her business venture when she started making this, she may have been selling it, you know, out of her home or whatnot. I don't know. I think I'm not totally sure about that, but there was a lot of controversy and mixed reviews behind this sauce. You know, people were saying that the color kept changing. It wasn't FDA approved. Um, some people claim to have gotten sick behind um, eating this sauce but I don't know how true those claims are but you know just do your research guys there's so much controversy behind this bottle of pink sauce um but that was like when the sauce first came out I'm not sure how long it's been out but I know that you can find it at Walmart and you're gonna pay more than $1.25 so I think this sauce has gone through FDA approval now like I said, you can get it at Walmart. I think Target may have it as well or Amazon, but I know for sure Walmart has it. And now it's at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. And it's um, as seen on TikTok and Instagram, Pink Sauce, you get 13 ounces. Okay, the Best Buy date is September 29th, 2024. And another thing, you know, people were claiming that um, the ingredients, like some of the um, I don't know, something with the ingredients list, it was just fraudulent or I don't know, something with the ingredient list wasn't um, right. But I am going to read off a couple of the ingredients, you know, just to give you guys, you know, to let you know what's inside. So it said dragon fruit puree, canola oil, coconut cream, water, sugar, distilled, white vinegar, garlic, um, what's that, maltodextrin, ranch flavor, um, the maltodextrin, onion powder, natural flavors, modified food starch, salt, spices, contains 0.5% or less of xanthan gum, colored with titanium dioxide, preserved with sodium benzoate, potassium sorbate, citric acid, and calcium disodium, EDTA. And it also contains coconut. It's exclusively manufactured for Dave's Gourmet. Um, out of San Rafael, California, and there's a phone number on here. You can also find this at pinksoft.com, and it was a bottle in the USA. It's 100 calories per two tablespoons serving, so it's not too bad. It says separation is normal, color may vary, shape will refrigerate after opening. So yeah, those are the ingredients. I mean, it all sounds pretty normal to me um it say far from ordinary from tick top to table shop your taste buds with flavor and thrill taste chef peas or chef pies famous sweet and tangy sauce made vibrant with dragon fruit and spices are you ready to try the pink sauce that became an overnight internet sensation <laughs> i'm telling you it's everywhere even on youtube like you type in on YouTube shorts, pink sauce, it'll bring up all types of um, videos. It say gluten-free and vegan. And it say pink sauce complements any dish, but is especially tasty paired with chicken wings, sandwiches, hamburgers, salads, on pizza, on egg rolls, grilled meats, and for dipping veggies. So pretty much whatever you know it's just a dipping sauce but it's called pink sauce i'm gonna try it and i'll let you guys know how i feel about it i may um have it with like some chicken tenders when i fry up some chicken tenders and we'll try it with that okay next i picked up these e-circuit super heavy duty batteries double a needed some more batteries and then i um, found this super cute salt and pepper shaker i thought it was really cute <laughs> it's a little snowman and it's a little um, salt and pepper shaker, but I probably won't use it for that purpose. I may just use them as little decor pieces for my um, two-tier tray. I thought those were cute. And then I found some new lippies. Well, they're new to me. And they're by, I think they're both by the flower brand. Yeah. So this is um, 105 
Wild Azalea Matte Lipstick. This is a matte lipstick. And you know how they come in these little, little packs. So, yeah. So, that's the color 105 Wild Azalea. And it's a matte lipstick. I love the packaging. And, yeah, that's a really pretty, really pretty red. Let's see. Y'all know I love a red, a good red. So, I may wear this my next video that is pretty oh yes i love that next to my skin that's really pretty okay so i got that one and then they had this looked like a um a liquid a liquid lipstick i hope it's matte let's see is it is it matte yes it is yes i love a liquid matte lipstick so this is also by flowers and or flower and this is a miracle matte lip and the color is scarlet letter Ooh, that sounds so pretty so let's see Ooh, yes it's nice and like chalky light i love that oh yeah that's pretty so it's this one right there oh that's pretty Ooh, yes. Yeah, I may I may have this one on my next video. So yeah, I did find these two by Flower Brand. Those are really pretty. And then I found some new skincare. Well, actually, I found these, ooh, probably a couple of weeks ago. But when I first, I think I recorded a YouTube short. I shared a YouTube short. I didn't purchase them that day. And I don't know why, but... um. I saw it again. My hubby and I, we were, you know, shopping at the Dollar Tree. And he was like, he said, have you seen these products? And I was like, yeah, but. So then I looked at them again. And I was like, oh, it's glass. And I think these products are actually, they compare to a name brand um, lip or name brand skincare line. But I'm not sure what the name brand line is but a lot of people are raving about these products and i was like i'm gonna go ahead and give them a try so it comes three um products to this little line here this is by be pure this is the glow up toner and with watermelon extract and hyaluronic acid you get four fluid ounces and they're in glass bottles so i was like yes i'm gonna get that and give it a try they're paraben and phthalate free yeah, so that's the um, toner. And then they have the Glow Up Serum with the watermelon extra and niacinamide. I love the packaging. Yeah, I didn't realize when I first saw these, I didn't realize the bottles were glass. So I like that. And then the last one to this little line is the Glow Up Night Moisturizer with watermelon extra and niacinamide. All by B Pur. So, yeah, I thought that was a really neat. I love the packaging. Okay, so I got those. And let's see, what else did I get? Um, I got these gift sacks by Christmas House. You get two pieces. I thought these were super cute. Um, this one said, no peeking until Christmas. I think they had these last year, but I didn't find them. So, when I saw them um, with this haul, I said, I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple. So I got that one, I thought it was really cute. And then this is the one I really love. This one says, nice until proven naughty. <laughs> Super cute, and you get two of them. So yeah, those would be nice to wrap up some of the boys' Christmas presents. And I did find another one of these um, Barbie magnetic activity sets. It includes one scene and two magnet sheets, over 15 magnets. So I did find one to add to my Barbie collection because the two that I hauled prior to this haul, I put them in friend mail. So now I have one for myself. So I was happy to find that again. And then I got this right here, this flasher headband. I know you guys have been seeing this all around. So I'll probably be wearing this in my next video. Thought that was cute. And then I found some wish list, guys. I was so, so happy to find these 
I first saw, and I've only seen these hauled on Sweet Sadie J's TV channel. She hauled these a while ago, and I was like, man, I hope to find those. I don't know if I found them all. I'm not sure how many it is, but I got three of them, and I'm going to add these on my wall with my Forever Friend dolls. They're going to go on the wall with those um, dolls. And these are the anime dolls um, by Massa... Massa Kadama. So yeah, I was so happy to find these. So I got this one, the little red head. <laughs> Isn't she cute? The little anime dolls. And then I also found this one here, the teal one with the guitar. So I got her. And then I also got the blue head. <laughs> She's so pretty. So yeah, these are gonna go with my other doll collection. And I was so happy to find this. This is another wish list item. I also saw this haul on Sweet Sadie J's TV. And I think Paula MJ's place, she shared it on her walkthrough. And I was like, oh my goodness, I hope to find that as well. This is the Apana or Apana Lux Yoga Knee Mat with carry handle. Cushions, knees, and elbows for extra support during your yoga practice. So I don't take yoga. I did um, yoga, ooh, it's been some years ago. Maybe about five, maybe five, six years ago, maybe. Um, there was a yoga class, you know, not too far from where I live, and I really enjoyed that class. And I hate that the lady, she stopped um facilitating the yoga class because I absolutely enjoyed it. It was so therapeutic, so relaxing. And I mean, I would just fall asleep every class because <laughs> it was so relaxing. So I was really happy to find this, you know, just in case she may start it back up one day. Hopefully she will. And um, I'll have this little yoga mat here. And what I love about this, and then check this out, the suggested retail price of this product is $12. I'm not sure where it came from, but it's at the Dollar Tree for $1.25, but the original price is $12. But what I really love on the back, it has the different poses, the different yoga poses. I really love that. So yeah, hair, child, pigeon, cat. Cat was my favorite. The table, I like the table. Plank, oh, not so much plank, but those help your abs. Camel, I never got to the camel, and cow, I love cow as well. Cow and cat are like my two favorites so yeah i was really happy to see that oh, and last but not least you saw these in my thumbnail i was overly excited when i saw these they were on the aisle where the socks and all that stuff is they were in a box the box was still closed and something just said girl look in that box <laughs> You know how something tell you to do something when you're in the Dollar Tree, but not bad, not something bad. But you know, sometimes you you just get um, curious about those boxes and what may be inside. And y'all, I had to go up in that box, and I'm so glad that I did because if I hadn't, I wouldn't have known because they didn't have them out. They had them in that box, closed up. So I got two of the Little Mermaid, and these are the little tote bags. Yeah, what do they call them? Yeah, they're little um totes or canvas. Not canvas, but you know, they're um just the little totes that you can get from the Dollar Tree. But these are the um licensed ones. So this one is the Little Mermaid. So I purchased two of the Little Mermaid, you know, just in case I have some friends out there, um, my YouTube sisters, if you're looking for these, you know, just let me know. You can't find them, and I'll be more than happy to share. Uh, one of these bags with you. So this one say wonders and curiosities. Yes, curiosity. <laughs> it got the best of me, but I'm glad I looked in that box because I wouldn't have saw these. So I did get two of the Little Mermaid and they're so cute. So this I'll be adding to my Little Mermaid collection and I'm more than um, happy to share this with anyone who, who's been looking for that and, and you can't or couldn't find it. And then I also got the Ninja Turtle, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Super, super cute. <laughs> That's gorgeous, I love that. Turtle power. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Ooh, that was one of my favorite cartoons, y'all. <laughs> and y'all, I watch um, 
Deshaun's channel. That's my girl. So um, I was watching one of her videos and she was talking about how when she was um, younger, she thought that the um, Ninja Turtles were going to grow up and they were going to be her boyfriend. <laughs> Well, one of them was going to be her boyfriend. And I was like, that's crazy how when you're kids, you think alike. Because I thought the same thing, y'all. I thought that the Knitting Turtles, I thought they were going to grow up and become um, boys. And, and I could date one. I really thought that. <laughs> that's a shame. We had a crush on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's my story, y'all. Okay, and then next I picked up the Chit Chat and all that in Minnie Mouse. Isn't she cute? I had to have that pink bag. That's so pretty. Chit Chat and all that. <laughs> so I got Minnie. And then they had super cute Mickey. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness. These are some pretty bags. And last but not least, I also purchased two of these just in case one of my YouTube sisters, you're out there looking for them. You can't find them. I did purchase two of the Black Panther. So I thought these were really, really pretty. So yes, yeah, so one of these um, go to my DJ because he loved Black Panther. So I'm going to put some of his gifts in one and then I'm more than happy to... um share one of those so yeah those are my um my little totes that i found at the dollar tree all right guys and that is it for this hashtag sip snack and show saturday as always i thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i hope that you spotted something you would like to try yourself if this is your first time watching and you enjoy this type of content go ahead and hit that subscribe button i would greatly appreciate it if you give this video a big thumbs up Comment something down below and don't forget to ring the notification bell so that you're notified each time I upload a new video. And as always, I am now signing off, sending positive vibes, and wishing you many, many blessings. Hope to see you on the next one. Bye!